What's the difference between blue oceans and red oceans and why are they important as mm, they look at opportunities? Okay, yeah. There's a great book called The Blue Ocean Strategy, which I'd really recommend. We read it right around the time when we were working with Estee Lauder. And Proactive was a blue ocean. It was, and, and blue ocean refers to how a product is distributed. It was an area where we could grow the little fish could just grow, you know, beautifully in these quiet, serene waters without anybody noticing, as opposed to a red ocean. And a red ocean is our shark-infested waters where, you know, the big fish eat the little fish and it's all that competitive bloodbath. And that's what retail is. It's the red ocean. And when we started Proactive, nobody thought about infomercials. They were cheesy, it was, you know, yucky, just as we were talking about with, you know, other industries. And, and so we could, we could get our sales going and no one was paying attention to us. We were growing like crazy. And by the time Neutrogena woke up and realized that they had made a mistake, it was about seven, we had about seven years of sales. We were already huge. We were definitely by far and away the category leader. They did not know and they woke up and they went, oh, wow. And it took people that long because we were swimming in that blue ocean. Now, I feel like um, direct selling is the blue ocean of today. Infomercials are now more like red oceans. I think, you know, people ask me all the time, oh, if I can just get a product on an infomercial, you know, it'll sell great. But they're very, very competitive very expensive, very hard to get media time. You have to have a product that has a good, um, you know, continuity program involved with it. And direct selling to me feels in the same way infomercials felt 15 years ago. There is such a tremendous opportunity there that is growing and I'm, I really feel it.